Greetings and salutations, tube dwellers. Welcome back to StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. It's time for my final placement match. Here we have the player I'll be facing. A Diamond Protoss player. The map is Whirlwind Ellie. There we see again Mr. Sparks Ignite. The Diamond Protoss. I will be your hometown champion, the Mad Bag. As always, or I should say as recently, race picking the Zerg pieces. I'll be spawning in your bottom right hand corner. Sparks Ignite's gonna be spawning in the bottom left. As you can already tell, this will be cast from replay. Meaning that uh, I'm gonna get to see everything. And you get to see what I do, and what he does. You already see that my overlord's taken off in the wrong direction. This is a four-player map. It means that there's a couple different ways you can go right at the beginning. You can go straight up, or straight to your left, if you're in my position. And I decide to go up. Uh, there's a little bit of reasoning behind that. It's mostly random. But uh, the way the natural hangs off of each base... Uh, for me, mine hangs off to the left. Uh, for this base up here, it hangs off to the bottom. And for this base over here, it hangs off to the top. Because the map is rotationally symmetrical. Uh, that means that the natural of the base above me kind of aims towards my main. And Overlord being right here is going to get to this natural at about the same time it gets to uh, this void area right out here. You know, or maybe this third area, right in this zone. Uh, so that makes me think that if he were over here, I would spot him earlier if the Overlord goes that way. If I sent the Overlord this way first, left that is, then uh, it would take a little bit longer to spot him. Very minute, minor thing, I've thought about it before though. And that is what I thought. Build starting to develop, I went to 14 pool. That safe build on a big map like this with four spawns, it's possible I could get away with a 15 hatch. And it looks like I'm going to 15 hatch right after it. Uh, but the pool build is safer. Oh, and he's going to go Nexus first. It looks like he's got the pylon set up for a forge expand. That's what I would expect, in fact. Here he's going to drop it down right after a pylon in the main on 18. Hello, little buddy. Go for it. Forge it is. And after scouting both wrong locations, his probe is finally going to make it into my base. And scout the correct location. I'm curious. Yeah, he does see it. And uh, he did not peek all the way into the main. So you can fair to bet that I've got at least a pool, but I think that was a little bit of a mistake. Uh, he could have peeked into the main and came... I would say like to right about here so that his vision hits this gas and then maybe over to about here so that his vision hits this gas and then he probably still could have got this probe out because uh, even if I did get gas early there's no way I've got link speed at this point. This overlord is going to set up a position in the void space behind his main. That should make for a nice scout later. He does have both gas in the main. This overlord creeping the edge of the map. And his build develops as you might expect it to. A cannon, a gateway. I'm going to spot the cannon. Oh, nice. And he's going to let a zergling get right by. Cannon was just too late. That means that if that pool would have finished and I would have made six zerglings, or even better yet, if I would have ten pulled and made six zerglings, I definitely would have got in here in time. And I'm going to see pretty much everything with this zergling. Although there's not a lot to see right at the moment. It's mainly just a couple gas. Oh, the Zergling, you can do it! Yeah! But he got a kill! He destroyed 200% of his cost. I am happy. Oh. Oh, and I'm coming too early. Oh, I'm not quite on the minerals yet. Oh, and he notices! Oh, jeez. If I wouldn't have moved forward, I bet he would not have noticed that. And I would have been able to sneak a hatchery right by his little probe. But no, as is... World's most annoying probe, right here for my third. The third would could have gone down a little bit sooner too. I uh, I got heavy on the. Uh, oh, is he gonna keep blocking it? Oh, he is. Wow, what a butt. 
Uh, I got heavy on the drones and, and wanted to pop these queens out early. As a matter of fact, I've got three right now. Still going up on that drone count, though, and now I'm a little bit angry. Making six, eight zerglings. Oh, I see. A pylon. He's put a pylon down to block my third. I'm responding with some zerglings, and now I've got a very unhappy drone. Huh. Not necessarily an ideal location for that overlord. His build continues to unfold the cybernetics core now. He's got the research on the way for dim warp gates. He's got his two gas in the natural, but hasn't quite saturated him yet. Here we see his mothership core timing coming out. Seen a lot of Protoss trying to rush this out from one base, then getting the second base uh, off gateways and using the mothership cores. Uh, what is this, photon overcharge? Photon overcharge to ensure that things are defended. Wow, he's he's got some aggression on the mind. Two zealots, a stalker, and the mothership core. I can't say this is rare. Uh, those eight zerglings that I made should line up pretty well with this. Especially with uh, an extra queen. Looks like I'm building yet another extra queen. So I've got two down here at the natural. Perfect place for them to be. And wow, the drone count just went way over. They're on my main. He is ahead of me in workers. This is a uh, terrible sign early on. I'm down more than five workers now. Okay, catching back up quick. Uh, we'll see that fluctuate a little bit. Hopefully I won't be behind the whole time. And he's putting the hurt on this. Wow. The Zealots, the Stalkers. I don't have enough Zerglings. And am I going to cancel? Oh my god. No cancel. Wow. Ill tidings. No, now I got a queen out of position. Oh lord. Oh, there's a transfuse. It's going to keep the queen alive, and here comes some zerglings. Can he get the queen? He doesn't get the queen. Uh, he does get out with, I believe, just one stalker. Oh, a stalker, a zealot. And, of course, the mothership core. It looks like he's setting up for a third already. And there it goes. Boom. His third begins before mine. Oh, just glancing at that, too. That, that drone count's over. That drone count is pitiful. Looks very bad. The third does go back up. Oh, and it looks like I feel hurt. I'm thinking ill things of this match so far. I'm going to go out for a double expand. He was thinking about a full wall with cannons, but it looks like he's uh, decided against that. And at just the wrong time, too. The Zerglings come in. Oh, that third. This is looking somewhat close. He's got the forces coming up, but honestly, he doesn't have that much. He's only got a couple Zealots. A stalker and a mothership core. The zealots do great against zerglings, but not very quickly. Cancelled. 300. He is the better man. He at least gets the cancel off on his expansion and puts it down again immediately. Now this does give me a little lead on the production time, but uh, I bet if we look at lost, uh, you know, that's not a big difference. There's a difference there, though. I've lost a little bit more than he has. Let's get an update on this worker count. Surely I'm working on it, right? 51 to 57. He's maintained a lead, but I'm not looking terrible. I'm not real far behind him, especially considering that I'm in the range to uh, saturate two bases, and that's all I can saturate. Now that this comes up, I really hope to see some more drones in this production queue in the near future. He's not being shy about the zealot count, and he is just really uncertain about how this uh, third wall should go. He's wanting to keep tabs on things, and he's got a mind for Colossi sometime in the near future. Plus one has finished. He's got a second forge to do the uh, double upgrades in tandem. He's got a very uh, power-friendly style, getting that third out fast. Oh, a second robo. Yeah, talk about powering. Uh, let's get a gateway count here. I see one. Uh, are these both gateways? These are, so uh, that brings us up to six, seven, eight. Uh, eight gateways, two robos, and a stargate. And double forge upgrades. Uh, it looks like he plans on saturating this base immediately. And using every bit of that three base saturation. I've got something else on my mind, though. It looks like my army value, at least in minerals, is uh, quite a bit higher than his. And he's not exactly sure how he wants to go about this. Oh, no! I'm not engaging together. Oh, I lost some zerglings there for no reason. Now the force fields come out. He will be happy to fight this. And it looks like I pretty quickly know that I can't really do a whole lot against that. I'm going to sit and pick off a couple zealots. The saturation, I really don't like to see that this is not peaking up where it should be. I've got a lot of zerglings in production. It looks like I want to keep this aggression on, and I've got an infestor timing coming out here. Five infestors is a decent amount. 
Uh, however, all those Zerglings and this double pump of Colossi, oh my, he's going to just have Colossi numbers very, very quickly. Uh, the drones are finally coming out, but it looks like I want to put some more aggression on before uh, sinking back into a passive economic kind of stance. And, and here I'm forming up in the middle. Uh, I did end up getting two more bases out across the top of the map. Not making use of basically any of them, though. Having that many bases should ensure, and you can see it here, that the larva count stays very respectable regardless of the larva injects. And you see that they are slacking now. Quite a bit of energy building up there. Oh, the infestors are out, but they are not in position. Am I going to do this without infestors? I'm posturing like I want to go ahead and have an engagement now. Uh, but I don't... I do still barely have a mineral lead. I don't have a gas lead. and Straight up, I don't have the better army. I, I have a maybe I can defend army. I definitely don't have an aggressive army. I did deny him from taking this fourth, and he wanted to do it now. That was no good. Oh, man. The lost isn't heavily in his favor yet, which is kind of surprising because I am just nothing but losing my nuts every time we engage. Oh, a run by. I nearly missed it. This is nice. This is the exact kind of pick and pull I needed. With the army I had, that gets us closer to even, but he still has the worker lead. He's kept at least a five, sometimes even greater, worker lead on me nearly this entire game. Uh, and I've gone hive, but my timing's a little off. I also have a spire, but I'm not... Ah, here we go. I'm not getting the gases yet. This is all just a little bit out of order. If these gases were a little faster, if this spire was timed up with this hive, uh, I fear that he has a timing here. He's got the army. Specifically, he's got the technology. These Colossi are really tough for me to deal with right now. He's got the thermal lances for them. Uh, he is a little bit slow on the upgrades, I feel. Let me compare. I've got 1-1. One, one. I'm a little ahead of him on the armor. Well, no, not really. By the time his chrono boost factors in, I guess he's got two damage coming right alongside my two armor. Uh, and he does have his armor coming as well, whereas I don't have my damage yet. So, no, he's ahead in the upgrades. He's ahead in the technology. Uh, I'm ahead in the base count, but I would say he's ahead in the saturation, just because he's on three base and he's got the probes to basically perfectly saturate three bases. Uh, my saturation is looking pretty good now. 13, that's a little under. 17, that's still uh, maybe a couple over. One over to be uh, a Nazi about that drone count to split hairs. I do know that my saturation is a bit of an issue. Getting some more drones, nine, that's actually going to take me up to about the perfect range. And here come my Corruptors. The Greater Spire is about halfway done, so uh, let's see what kind of timing goes here. And since the Infestors weren't involved in that last engagement, I assume they're still around here somewhere. Uh, matter of fact, let me check this blob out here in the center. There they are, five Infestors. He has aggression on his mind this time. Oh, but another run by just a single Zergling is going to scare him back. And it looks like I'm poised to do a better run by than that. Oh, tell me I'm going to do it at the perfect anti-timing. He's just showing up with his army. Okay, no, it doesn't look like I'm going to. Just one Zergling. False alarm! Everybody move back out to the center of the map. Everything's all right here. That wall, those cannons, heavy fortification on the third. Trying to hold me off from running by. I know he's coming now. He's out in the middle. Oh, God! Oh, no! Infestors! Oh, my! They're on a different control group. They're on my number two control group. It looks like I moved my ones away, and I'm not paying any attention to the twos. Okay, there they go. Get on that creep. Get out of there, Infestors. Oh, my God. Wow, they're going to make it. That was so lucky. If he would have pulled the trigger there, he only had a couple stalkers up there picking away. If he would have got serious and brought out even like a pack of five or six and started focusing, or brought the Colossi up anyway, they do amazing against Infestors. Then, whew, that could have been such a huge loss. Some of this posturing makes me want to keep tabs on a couple things. We're roughly even in overall resources lost. And uh, he's got the lead in that army count. It's kind of crazy to see that I still don't have the lead in drone count. Ah, I'm using a lot of them. I'm getting some defenses up. I'm sure this includes spines and spores. This is a good time for him to uh, whip out the Dark Templar. Oh, and another run by. I catch this one with good timing. Looks like I'm going to take out a couple more workers. He's still got a solid 10 worker lead over me, though. And I'm going to try for the Nexus. Can I get it? I'm not certain. Wow, look at that production tab. That Protoss is doing things. I can't get it. Matter of fact, I didn't even get all the way through the shields. Looks like I'm going to try to do a little pick and pull, but my timing's not the greatest. 
And I'm gonna lose all the Zerglings over here for it. That's all right. This kind of frees up supply for uh, these Broodlords that I'm popping out. Maybe lets me redesign my army a little bit. Uh, rethink my composition. I did take one gateway, I, I guess just to be a nuisance. Was that a recall? I'm almost certain that was a recall. He was at a full 200 energy, now he's down to 100. He recalled uh, from this base to this base. Uh, with a blink, I think the Stalkers could have literally made that trip faster. Oh, and there the Broodlords are. It looks like uh, I, I at least feel that he doesn't really have an air army. I, I don't know whether or not I've spotted these voiders out. Three void rays, that's actually just a touch nasty. I should have a couple corruptors in the mix. Uh, I've totally dedicated my corruptors though. I've got three, I guess. And that number's just now jumping up. Okay, so I know that I've got a little bit of a weakness against air units, because nothing else that I have can hit air units. Uh, the infestors, I don't know, technically can. I don't even know where the infestors are right now. Surely they're not dangling somewhere where they're... Okay, they're with the Broodlords, roughly. So, that's good. That's where they should be. The Infestors and the Broodlords really couple together. Uh, alone, the Broodlords can be dealt with pretty easy. Alone, the Infestors can be dealt with pretty easy. Put those two together, and you've got some nastiness. Uh, now, we're both nearly maxed. I want to take one more stock of the army. My army's actually more valuable than his. Well, it was. I'm going to lose some Zerglings here. I don't think that's the biggest loss, but it's not great. Uh... Fungals, decent fungals, he sprinted forward with that blink. That was an aggressive blink. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, but here we go. The Broodlords are engaging. I'm already losing some Infestors. It looks like my Infestors... Is that all of them? Was that my all of my Infestors? Oh my god, I have no Infestors on the map. This is incredibly troubling for me. My Broodlords have a nice position, and it looks like I'm going to use the Roaches to just try to keep his army occupied. But here comes the aggressive blink. I don't know that he has enough, except for... The Void Ray count! Oh, his Void Rays are somehow beating my Corruptors out. And here come a reinforcement of Stalkers. His wave comes in and... Wow, Annihilation! My Broodlords are left out in the cold, alone. They're not even given a jacket. They shiver to death. Oh, the Q, it shows Zerglings, it shows Corruptors. He has everything he needs to deal with all the Zerglings I could ever muster in this one Colossi. And, oh, and they're even going to come in piecemeal. They're not going to come in together. There is no hope here. He's got a 60 supply lead. And those resources just show. The GG! He's got it. He took it from me. Diamond beating a diamond. Did I say diamond? How foolish of me to think that beating a diamond in my fourth placement match and losing to one in my fifth placement match would place me diamond. No, in fact, I have been placed platinum. I feel I can probably get out of platinum pretty quick though if I put my nose to the grindstone, uh, which is something else I want to mention. I have, you know, looking back, it's taken me a week to get through my five placement matches. That's bad. That is an astronomically low amount of StarCraft playing going on here. And, oh god, look at that. Workers active. That tells the story of the match. He took it. Just a couple workers over. He just had, you know, everything a little bit quicker than me. Upgrades. He had just slightly more upgrades spending than me all the way through. Slightly better resource collection from that worker count. Slightly bigger army value most of the game. Right here is where it shot up when I got the Broodlords out. But uh, he tore my army apart. I just microed it terribly. Ran all my investors to their doom. Anyway, like I was saying, it took me a week to get to my placement matches. That's terrible. Um, I've been playing a good bit of Dota. I should say I've been hooked on Dota. Just I've been just having a ball playing it. The only thing I don't like about it is the length of the matches. But I've been having trouble mustering motivation to jump on StarCraft and do stuff to play. That's troubling. That's going to be all for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, uh, the next couple episodes, you'll see me climb my way out of Platinum. At least get back to Diamond. I would really love to make that the case. Alrighty. See you later.